here with Nate, Nate the Galaxy War Campbell. How you doing, Nate? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, we're out here in the Tampa Bay floor, the, the floor of the Boxing Hall of Fame weekend. Entire weekend of festivities, man, awesome. You, Winky Wright, a couple other fighters came out to support, man. Talk about the weekend and how things went. This is the best weekend that I've had in a while. Work-related, but yet fun. Um, we, you know, for me, it's always work when you're dealing with, you know, all the great fighters. I mean, I'm working on getting, getting autographs. Mike McCallum, Buddy McGirt, who's a close family friend. You have Iron Barkley. You had Jose Rebolta. You had just all the great fighters and all the great participants being inducted this weekend. It was an awesome thing. I came down with my team, Galaxy Fireboxing team, and we're just doing our thing. And we're just so happy about being here, being accepted by, you know, the community as a whole. You know, it's awesome for you uh, as a former world champion, undisputed, man. It's awesome for Florida, you know, that the, the fighters take the time and they come out and understand how important it is for fighters in Florida to celebrate this. For me, I just believe that I have to pay homage to the guys that came before me. I don't believe in this new adage, oh, he's past his prime, he ain't nothing, he, ain't, he, he old. I, that's why I love him. I love him because that I like a good pair, a shoe pair of shoes isn't good until it gets broken in good. See, the best shoes that you'll have are the ones you've gotten the best wear out of, and they seem to fit your, your foot the best. For me, that's how I feel about these fighters. These guys fit the mold of what boxing really is. Today's boxing is not like what it used to be. It's overrated to me. These guys are the real, genuine art. Absolutely right, Nate. Let's talk about within the year. You had a tremendous, tremendous uh, fight show uh, that was a success. Talk about your show and Galaxy Fire Promotions. You are now uh, a licensed promoter yeah. in the state of Florida. And uh, let's talk a little bit about how that went. Man, it was a great show. Um, we all we put together a great show, me and my other partners who were working at the time. We were working with Moses Rose and Brenda Rose and my fiance Rosalind Thompson. Jadine King was doing her thing. And we had a great job. Um, you know, things things change in the company overall, but the company's still going. Galaxy Fire is really doing a great, great, great move now. We're moving to Destin, moving into Destin, um Dothan, Alabama. We're in Destin. We're in Dothan, Alabama this next time. We're looking at doing a show July twenty sixth. It's already off the ground and moving. Everything starts coming tomorrow. You'll have all the radio ads. It's going to be a big deal. We're doing Curtis Harper. Um, we we're looking, currently looking for an opponent for him, a very good heavyweight. Someone to make him, help him show, showcase his skills. I mean, bring the best out of him. Not make him look the best, but make him fight the best. And um, so for me, having a great time. I'll tell you what, it was a great turnout. You had the Vanda, the Real Deal, Holyfield, Chop Chop, Carly. So many of the champions came Al out to Cole, support. Reggie Johnson, William Joppy, who will all be back for this fight. Um, Neville Shedd from the movie Glory Road, um, a Hall of Famer in basketball. Um, I'm thinking about bringing Mike McCallum and Iron Barkley in, talking to them this weekend. They may be all in for it. So, hey, we're talking about doing some things. I'm having a comedy show over that weekend. Um, we're having some really good comics. You know, I'm doing stand-up comedy now. And um, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the guys I'm dealing with like, man, you missed your call a long time ago. No, nah, I'm catching up to it. Which comes to the next question. We want to see a sample. Go ahead, Nate. No, Kick man, it I, off, man. I, mean, I can't really do a lot of sample, but, you know, <laughs> I have this particular skit where I talk about, you know, I particularly talk about Don King, how when I first came in, I met Don King after, um, after I won the world title against Diaz. He was like, oh, look here, man. I love you, man. You're just a wonderful fighter. You made me the happiest man on the planet. And people love to hear me talk like Don. But for me, I can't say Don King was a bad guy. I won't say he ever stole anything from me. I won't say he took anything from me, did me wrong. Don King did his job, and as a promoter, a promoter has to promote. He promoted the best, to the best of his ability, as far as I can tell. And I just couldn't get the fights that I should have gotten because the people didn't want to fight me. But now I just, I, I poke fun at Don. I, every time, every joke I tell about John King, Don King is all tongue in cheek. I talk about Mike Tyson. I always do a Mike Tyson impression just to let the people know that, you know, Mike is that great guy. I always do that impression. You know, I do all the, all the impressions. I do a, my, a Roy Jones impression. I, I do a few impressions, but I, talk, I really talk about life and what it's been like being a boxer. I, I talk about the fact that, you know, most people don't, most people that talk about boxing, they really don't know anything about boxing. And so I do a Roger Mayweather um, imitation. Well, you know, right, right, they, most, most people say that, that you know that uh, they, they, they know things about boxing, but they don't know nothing about boxing, you know. I love Roger Mayweather. I love the fact that it's honesty. I love all the fighters that I'm, I've met. And I, I talked to you. They've done. They've done the. They're the honest ones. The old guys, like old school guys, like Roger Mayweather, and all those guys are the 
honest guys. The rest of these guys are with that foolishness. I like the good old fashioned. That's awesome, Nate. We appreciate this interview, and we look forward to your next show coming up later on in the year. Thank you.